this case, the title, which looks like the title of a book, is actually the title of a video or a TV show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So this here is the name of the media, which in this case is a television program. And the next thing we put here is not the publishing house for a book, but rather the production company. That is who produced it. Movies will always have a production company and TV shows will have a production company. And in fact, you usually see that at the beginning, don't you? Who produced this or at the end. So you just include that here rather than the book publishing company. And then we have the years. Now here we don't have one year. Why? Because it's 1997 to 2003. What does that mean? That means that this television show went on for that amount of time. So this is a little bit of a special case. What we're doing is we're citing some information or we're talking about someone inside of our research paper and that person is an actress and that actress's name is Geller Sarah Michelle. Last name first, don't forget. And that is an actress or a performer. And what we're doing is we're citing that person or we're saying something about that person or we're taking some information that is kind of from that person. And it's not just one episode or one thing that person said, but rather the whole series of television shows that that person was in. So we use the name of the whole television series, in this case called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And what's the date? 97 to 2003, 1997 to 2003. So that is fairly common, a little bit of a special case, but fairly common. Now here's the same television program, only now we're not citing the actress. In our research paper, in our book, we're not talking about the actress, but rather we're talking about the director, or we're citing some information about the television show, and that information we're, slight, we're citing, that information we're talking about, is related to how the show was made or maybe some camera angle or something special in the show and who controlled that? The director controlled that. So in that case the reference would be the director and here the director is Whedon, Joss. That is the last name is Whedon and the first name is Joss, Joss Whedon. And what is he? Is he an actor? No, he's creator. Actually in this case he's the showrunner I think. But in any case we look into the show information and we go ahead and we write that. Now how do we find that information? How do we know what is the job that the person did or who's in charge of that? Well you can go to the internet of course and you can look at IMDB which is the internet movie database which has a lot of detail about all the work done on different movies, television shows, who's responsible and what their titles are. So that's a good source. Internet Movie Database, IMDB, that's correct. And last, we end up with very similar information, right? The production company is still the same production company, Mutant Enemy, and then the years of the television show, 1997 to 2003, are still the same years, so that's the same. What about in the case of we're going to cite the same thing, this TV show, but now we're not really talking about the actress, we're not really talking about something the director did, but rather we're just citing the show in general, something maybe we're writing a paper about uh, society or some kind of history and this television show has some impact. How do we cite that? If we talk about the show, we cannot just talk about it in our research paper and have no reference. We need to have a reference in the reference list to tell where did this information come from, how can the reader find more detail. So in this case, we have no person. So we just begin with the name of the media, the name of the book. For example, if there was a book with no author, we would just begin with the book's name. Here we're beginning with the television show's name, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's italicized, which is the same as underlined, so we know that this is the television show or the movie or the book. We have a period and then we're going to specify. It's created by Joss Whedon, comma, performance by Sarah Michelle Geller, comma, Newton Enemy is a production company, comma, 1997 to 2003. So in that example, we have a perfect situation of 
you know, we put these two together kind of. So MLA is flexible. L MLA is giving you a kind of overall guideline. And it depends on what you're citing. It depends on the information you have. And in this case, this last one, we're not talking about the actress. We're not talking about the creator. We're not talking about the producer. We're not talking about the director. Rather, we're just talking about the whole show. But we do, we do need to say where did it come from uh, and created by Josh Whedon, performance by Sarah Michelle Geller. That's a nice little combo example.